Hey guys, and welcome to video two of Festive Birds. I do apologize that it did take so long to get this video out, but we were sick with COVID again. So we are currently on the recovery, and I definitely wanted to start again our um, tutorial video on Festive Birds. So we went through steps one through 10 <clears throat> this last video. So we are on to the birds now which are going to be these guys right here. And then also we're going to be doing the last little bits of this filigree as well. I'm hoping that we can get at least the filigree and the birds done for this video. And then the last video would be the second bird, which from what I understand, it looks like it's pretty much identical um, from the first one. Uh, he's actually just going to be mirrored. So this bird is going to be this way, I believe. And this bird is going to be this way. So the first things that we are going to do is we are going to sequin and applique the circles, which are numbers 11. Remember what I did say on the previous video. And excuse me for the talking. I'm still having a little bit of a hard time catching my breath. So... You are going to have multiple uh, multiples of some of your numbers. So like this number 11, there's going to be two, which are going to be going right here. Um, these, I believe, are going to be gold sequins. And I will be sewing the entire circles down. You know, some of them, especially the small ones, I said that I haven't been sewing them down, but these ones I definitely will be. So I'm actually going to just use the tan floss to put on the circles and to also put on my gold sequin. So we will get that set up. I'm going to be using my beading needle for everything because there's no point really in changing needles just to put a pleaking and beading on. So we got those on. Now the next is going to be sequin and applique 12 through 17 to the stocking. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, which are going to go in these corresponding spots right here. The yellow are going to have green sequins and the tan is going to have red sequins. We're going to go ahead and put the sequins on. Remember, it's going to be red on these tan ones and green, uh, your lime green on these yellow ones, okay? So let's go ahead and add those on.
Okay guys, so <clears throat> I was doing the last tutorial video and it actually, my phone cut out. So um, as looking over it, I saw that there was a lot more work to do um, than there should have been, <laughs> or I guess what I thought there was. So I went ahead and did um, the birds here. So I actually finished this bird completely, which I'll be showing you how to do the beading right here. And we're also going to be sticking these um, on this other bird with the beading around here. I'm really sorry that a lot of putting the bird together was missed but it's really simple to follow the directions. The pieces are gonna be going in um, and it saved a lot of time instead of me filming, putting every little piece on. Just pay attention to your directions. And again, they also say to make sure that you're looking at where the beads go and what sequence go here because you know, it doesn't follow the same as most of the other stockings do. So this bird has been done. He's not attached, but attaching him, it's pretty much just going to be um, stuffing him. They do it differently. I put these in two separate pieces, but it does call for you to put this part on before you put these pieces on. I didn't do that. Um, I kind of went to the beat of my own drum because it was easier to put the beading and stuff on. And plus I didn't want it to show all the stitching on the back. I know it's going to be going up against the stocking, but I just kind of wanted the back as clean as possible for my own peace of mind. So I'm going to set that one aside. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding the gold trim. Remember, we kind of had a problem with it um, coming apart on the toe. So just make sure that you're giving yourself enough room um, this is actually going to be covered up by this, so you don't really have to worry about it coming apart that much. Um, and then this is just going to get bent around here. And I'm actually going to leave a little bit more space on here. This time, um, you do have a lot of extra, so you don't have to clip it really short on the back. So I have my needle here and what I'm going to do is you're going to follow this line like this. So I'm going to start from over here. And get this side, oops, get this side sewn down. And you can put as many stitches as you need to, as big as stitches as you need to, because again, this is gonna be covered up by that wing. I'm gonna start coming through the back here. So I'm actually just going to be stitching through this back a couple of times. And I think that's really going to help as we go through here because it's, it's, you know, you're both basically sandwiching the piece of felt in between the two here. Now I'm going to sew the wing on <clears throat> really quick and then we will do the beading, which the beading looks like it might be a little hard, but it's actually really, really simple once you get the hang of it. The very last thing that we are going to be doing with our birds is we are putting on the beading chain. I 
I actually thought it was going to use a bunch of pearls in order to do it, and it really doesn't take that many. Uh, I stressed out a little bit when I opened up my bag of pearls, and I really thought that there was not going to be enough in there to do it, and I had more than enough. <clears throat> What I do, you're gonna first start at the end and get as close to the end as you can. And I like to put a stitch or two in here. There we go. Just to kind of get it really to make sure it's gonna hold. Now I use about four when I start. And you're just going to line up, kind of pull them to the bottom. And line up where they need to go. So I'm going to put my pin where those pearls end. And I'm going to pull it through. So now they're there. Now, you're going to split the pearls. So I'm going to go two. I'm going to go up into that space where the second, the beads are. So it's like in between those two beads. And I'm gonna go back through the, those bottom two beads. And pull, not real hard, so you don't wanna break your thread, but hard enough where those beads are gonna stay, okay? Now normally then I do another four beads. I see where they end. I put my needle through. I go up through two. See, two and two of the four that I added. And I'm going back through two. And that's literally all you're going to be able, you're just gonna pull a little tight. Okay. Four. And you can do five if you want to. Four is not the number that you have to use. I just think that doing it that way, it's a little bit easier to manage. And I know they're going to set exactly <clears throat> where they need to. <coughs> Sorry about that. Still recovering from COVID for the, from the second time, unfortunately. That's also why the tutorial video has taken a little bit longer. And I'm sorry if there's confusion on this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. Up through two, one more time. Through the last two. And we're just gonna do this until we get to the very end. We've learned two new techniques this time. Our gold braiding and these beads. I'm also gonna do a quick tutorial, hopefully here soon, about blanket stitch to show you guys how to stitch around the top of the stocking. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But let's go ahead and get these put on here real quick.
so it looks like we have enough space for about two more beads. So I'm going to put two on here so I can make it all the way to the end. And then I will probably go through just the last, yeah, just the last one. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there from this tutorial. I know it took forever to get the videos out. <clears throat> I also know that some of it may be a little jumbled. But just with the birds, follow your instructions. The steps are very, very easy. So now we are going to put the fronts on the backs. We're going to stuff these. And then we're going to put them on our stocking. And then we will be done with festive birds. chicken is going to go right here. So I'm going to leave the majority of him hanging off because if you look closely at the stocking right here, it's only going to have the white lines here and here. So I definitely am just going to follow those lines to tack him on. I really like kind of how puffy he is and I want as much of him to hang off as I can. Well, that bird got a little bit fatter than <laughs> the other one did. Okay. So now he's going to go here. He got really fat. I didn't, I didn't intend for him to be that chubby.
our last stitch. Here she is, guys. We're all finished with our birds. I do want to say thank you for hanging in there. This one I thought was going to be a super simple, fast tutorial video, but I guess um, that has definitely taught us our lesson on what can be deemed fast and what is not. Um, and not everything in these stockings are going to be quick and easy. Um, I have noticed that these guys are flopping a little bit, so I'm probably going to go back in and put a few stitches up in this crown um, just to make sure that they do stick down and they don't flop eventually after being used. I've had a great time doing this one with you guys. I cannot wait to start our next one. I'll take some pictures of it when it's completely done. Um, hopefully it will be bought up soon so I can put the name on here and get it all put together, but it looks great. And I know that your guys's looks amazing as well. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the subscript or in the box below. Please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. It really helps out my channel and gets me out there more. And I think we've already probably found the next tutorial I'm super excited about. It's one that has been um, kind of burning a hole in my pocket for a while that I've been wanting to do. So I hope you guys had a great time. Thank you for sticking in with me. Um, I guess this could be called the COVID stocking because um, it has been a long rough journey as well while me and my family have been sick so i really appreciate you guys hanging in there for me and have a good day we'll see you on the next one